Hello, today we are going to talk about the linearity of logistic regression algorithm. But before we begin, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your all support in advance. Logistic regression algorithm is mainly based on sigmoid function and the sigmoid function has a S-shaped graph. That's why you might think that the logistic regression algorithm is a non-linear algorithm but that's not true logistic regression is a linear algorithm here the main task of the sigmoid function in logistic regression algorithm is to transform the continuous inputs to the probabilities between 0 and 1 but sigmoid function cannot make logistic regression algorithm non-linear let's see this in an example the easiest way to understand an algorithm is linear or non-linear is to run it on a basic non-linear data set here one of the easiest non-linear data set is exclusive or or shortly xor data set you can access the xor data set that we are going to use in this experiment in this url then i'm going to use pandas library to read the data set then I'm going to use pandas.readcse function to read the XOR dataset. And this is going to be my data frame. Let's see the data frame. Data frame dot hat. And these are the first five rows of the data set. Here x and y columns are my features and the decision column is my target let's see the content of the decision column i wonder the unique values in this column it consists of one and zeros which are true and false let's plot the data set to understand its content easier i'm going to import matplotlib matplotlib dot pyplot splt then i'm going to build a for loop here for i in unique values here i'm going to create a sub data frame and it's going to be data frames get decision column is equal to i value come from here it could be 0 and 1 here I'm going to call plt.scatter and pass the x values of the subdata frame then y values of the subdata frame then color here color is going to be if i is equal to one then color is going to be blue otherwise color is going to be for example orange here i'm going to set the color as in this is the data set that we are going to work with this is not a linearly separable data set or linearly separable problem in other words you cannot separate positive and negative classes with a single line here in linear algorithms will try to separate those positive and negative classes with a single line that's why they will fail against this data set on the other hand non-linear algorithms could use several lines or several curves to separate positive and negative classes in a data set and they will succeed against non-linear data sets let's import the logistic regression module of scikit-learn library from scikit-learns.linear-model and import logistic regression it's obvious that logistic regression module appears under the linear module of scikit-learn library that's why it's linear model but we are going to show it then we are going to build the base model logistic regression is going to be logistic regression then our model is going to be logistic regression dot fit fit comment handles the training and here we are going to pass the input features and target values input features are 
x and y values and uh, i'm going to get uh, those input features as numpy type that's why i'm going to get values and let's get the target values as well data frames decision column is my target training is over we can see the logistic regression equation model dot intercept dash will return the bias term of the logistic regression equation besides model dot coefficients dash will return the uh, weights of the equation now i wonder the uh, performance of the logistic regression against this xor data set because non-linear algorithms should get almost 100 percent accuracy against this xor data set on the other hand random classifiers or linear algorithms should get almost 50 percent accuracy here we are going to call model.score function and pass input features and target values similar to fit function it returns 50 percent accuracy which is expected what if we built a decision tree classifier for this XOR dataset? Because we know that decision trees are nonlinear classifiers. I'm going to import from scikit-learn and import tree. Here classifier is going to be tree dot decision tree classifier. And similar to uh, training step in the logistic regression I'm going to call classifier.fit and pass input features and target values and this is going to be my classifier here let's test the score of the classifier classifier.score and here pass again features and target values now it returns 100% so we have shown that logistic regression is a linear algorithm and it cannot uh, succeed against non-linear data sets now let's focus on the reason why logistic regression is a linear algorithm let's remember the logistic regression equation the result depends on the sum of the coefficients and inputs here the k term is sum the result cannot depend on the product or quotient of coefficients in other words we can't express the result as w1 times x1 times w2 times x2 or w1 times x1 over w2 times x2 if we can express the result as multiplications or divisions of weights then it becomes a nonlinear algorithm so logistic regression is a linear algorithm it's not nonlinear here the nested structure of neural networks makes it nonlinear besides decision trees are not nonlinear algorithms but they are applying piecewise linear approximation so they can handle nonlinear data sets so we have run logistic regression algorithm for a nonlinear XOR dataset and we have shown that it's not a nonlinear algorithm. We also mentioned the reason of its linearity and when an algorithm becomes nonlinear. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your all support in advance. And finally, thank you all for watching and see you next time.